How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, last time we continued leveling up our guys, we did get quite far. We now have basically a full maxed out squad and a nearly maxed out purifier. We are getting to the point where we're going to need to start looking to recruit another person. We did have to skip... Essentially, we were here. We could have taken this mission over here, but it's a bloom assault with not great rewards. Not even great re requisition rewards. So we skipped that one just to let our guys kind of rest a little. I don't want to get people wounded quite yet. We are nearly getting all the upgrades we need in place. So we're in pretty good position. The only things we have left to do, because this bloom wave, as you can see, is still petering out. We can't get to either of these. The only ship that's in the system would involve going to this one, but we haven't got time to go over there yet. We do have two more of the atmospheric purifier missions to go. So plan is probably to do this one while we wait for this to tick over. I might then head over here to do the one that gets you the frigate, which will be another huge upgrade to help kick along these missions. We don't have enough team members yet to make this work, however. So this is not a priority. Like, to do this, you really need, like, probably, I'd say, 12 people. I think right now we have seven. So, you know, that's a thing. Um, so, we're going to head here, deal with this one, and essentially see where we're at. We might head over to the left side after this and try and end up near the other one. There's no time limit on the frigate mission. The earlier we get the frigate, it'd be better, but it's not useful until we have an actual team to use it on, is my point. Okay, so that's seed extraction research. So that's a massive boon to the amount of seeds we're going to be able to pick up. I guess the next step is to head down here and pick up all these upgrades. Because that will save the number of seeds we need to collect. That will help us get a whole bunch of upgrades in really quickly on the weapons. But it means we are going to be waiting till then to get the next set of upgrades. This will help get the Dreadnought fully experienced. We don't think we have a Dreadnought mission anytime soon. Like the one for this mission was over here. Sorry, this Bloom Spawn, whatever you want to call them. And these don't use them. So probably just head into here. We'll do it as... There's no benefit with how quickly we can run through these missions to bringing like an incinerator on the purifier. So priority is probably shifted down to just bring him in as a melee get a whole bunch of executes get him fully leveled and then we can look to get someone else in to like finish the job don't uh, do i want the calidus Calidus really isn't that useful in these missions i'd rather have since she's fully leveled anyway um do i bring the apothecary or do i bring the vindicare vindicare could do with some experience don't get me wrong but he doesn't benefit to leveling the purifier. Let's bring the Vindicare. Because I reckon these three will be able to handle the majority of the main mission. And then it's just the Vindicare getting some passive XP bonuses. And then just picking up where they left off. One thing we haven't done is looked at tier 3 equipment for the Assassins. Which we have now unlocked. I'm going to save that until we at least have ability to get it. We don't have that right now. So there's no point in doing it. So with that said and done. Let's just... Get on with it.
Alrighty, so, same as last mission, basically, for those who have, well, same as last atmospheric purifier mission, I should say, it's more concise. Um, need to get four out of seven, try and look around for a group. So it's four out of six, isn't it? There's only six on this map. One down there, and then one over, all the way over there by itself. So try and pick a route that picks off the most in a tight group, which I think is definitely these two. This one. And then it says, is it that one that's closer or this one? I think it's that one. So it's probably rush this way to this one, this one, this one, this one. That makes sense. So let's get on with it. No particular reason to like stealth for it. Uh, there can be packs quite close, so I'll move to it first. Moving but that's out. just to identify where the pack might be. Which is apparently not here. So uh, that sort of makes things really simple of just running a straight line. Don't want to spend too many turns. When you spend too many turns on these, you start having um, them come in with extra packs to try to corrupt the things, and you might have to respond to it. The simpler you can make these missions, the better. I know there's more experience technically if they land more people, but injuries are not uh, required or ideal, is the way I would phrase it. Well, there's the first pack. Shame it ended on, it, it, it found us on their turn, but there are worse situations, I, I suppose. Okay, so he's suppressing my other guy. Okay, that's, that's fine. Because they've lined themselves up for just... Uh, getting smacked by this falling down on them. It's annoying that it happened at the end of the turn, because otherwise we could have got all the way to here in one turn, I reckon, had they already been here, but we have a fix. See, so I can easily just delete one of these guys. I might just delete him, just to shut him up. Shot. Like, that just frees up a lot of stuff. Gets the auto oh, reload, that's fine. Death. Uh, next question, dropping this. Doesn't kill that on the spot, but it does do a lot of damage. Move Point. forward. Okay, got the reset, that's good. Do I bother just shooting that? Because what's the crits on you again? Do you have armor pen? You have armor break, okay. An armor break might get the seeds. I'm trying to think this out. So, if someone else shoots that down, it'll weaken it enough. Is this in range? It is. Okay, so what you do, this here. Precision target locked in. Get the seeds. It's really weird being able to extract the seeds with a sniper rifle, but uh, what's new? Seed remains intact. Okay, then we can try for that once this has been knocked down. So, I know this is giving kill XP over to the Vindicare. That's sort of okay. Like, it doesn't really matter who gets it. Oh, that'll just kill it. Apparently, that'll just kill it. I wonder if... So, I'm, I, this is a test. Because killing with the pistol should give the ability to get AP resets practically guaranteed with this guy right now. But does it count if you shoot a statue to then drop onto someone? Because it's killing with the terrain, not the pistol. So this is experiment. Vengeance. It does not. Okay, that's good to know. The next time, anyway. Um, Dominus just runs as far forward as possible. Decision. Her job is literally to run around the map. So, got this guy to get rid of. Double stun grenade would do it. I don't think there's a more efficient way of doing it. So it's probably stun grenade from one of each. Assuming we can get into range, which we will be able to. It's just committing enough while keeping the ability to actually get to him, which you can, so that's worth noting. So how far can you get for two? 
there, but that blocks his run route, so it's going to have to be there. And then one of your stun grenades. One of the Purgans are stun grenades. Purifier runs in, gets the kill. Everything ends. But you, you, you could argue that the execution is wasted because it's combat over, so it goes back to free. But I'll be honest, it just ends the fight really quickly, and it's more important to be speedy on these levels Bless than to be efficient, I, I think, anyway. You just end up being tagged down with all these reinforcements that constantly come in. Gonna have to ignore the seed. We got one set of seeds for this pack, it's fine. So the Dominus can run forward. I'll move everyone forward as a group as much as possible. Confirmed. Just in case the Dominus triggers something, but I don't think there'll be another pack in the immediate vicinity. That's actually might be annoying there isn't, otherwise we could go from here to there to there all in one go, but looks like we're going to have to end the turn again, which is a little annoying. It means we're going to actually start having to deal with reinforcements, potentially. That's one cleansed. Um, since I don't think there's going to be anything here, I'm going to explore this way, see if I can find a pack. If not for this turn, then for next there turn. Is corruption there is one there. Because what it means is, knowing that's there, she can't quite get there in one turn, but she will be able to in two. So, do that people start shifting down. Understood. Frankly, his AP reset didn't trigger. I, I, I think I'm noticing a change in behavior because that should be a guarantee with his focus crystal now. So I think I'm noticing a change in behavior that they may have changed it so it only comes in in combat. Although I didn't notice a patch at any point. So maybe it was a self patch. Now... We trigger it with you as close as possible. Aye, sir. Just in case we have to run in. Ah, we've got the uh, blender drone, as I like to call it. Brother, stand ready. Okay, so... Execute options are looking not great, unless we knock this guy backwards, which is definitely a possibility. So maybe if we pulled you forward to here, grenaded you that way while damaging the drone. For the Emperor. Hopefully this doesn't blow up in our face. I mean, it blew up, but it didn't blow up in our face. That, that's manageable. Now, stun grenade. That obviously can't stun the big thing. Surprise. Then Justicar comes around the corner and does the same thing. Gets rid of the infantry. I am going to move um, the Dominus now. Before I forget. Because it's very easy to do all the combat and then realize you never move the Dominus and therefore waste all this extra turn you get. So do it from that angle. Then run as far this way as possible. Initiating locomotion. Latent warp energy detected. Okay, there's an extra pack there. But there might not be over there. So I think, and this is stretching it, if we can kill this lot this turn, which we definitely will be able to, we can, rather than go to that far one up north, head no. right. And use the fact he's got an extra pack to get Dominus there this turn, and that'll be the end of the mission. So that'll be a very quick and easy way of doing it. Vengeance! 
This is the thing. When you get to, like, this level, things just start falling over. Uh, you don't have a way of guaranteeing crit anymore. As requested. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they've changed that to uh, only happen in combat. That's a very good change, by the way. Definitely should have happened earlier, but who am I to judge? Mm. Could buff it up, but I think I'm okay just firing a single shot first and seeing how it goes. I just want that seed, basically. Fire. Might as well shift people over one. And then weaken it. You shift that way. I assume you kill it if you shoot it. No? Okay, that's fine. Trying to just guarantee the kill with somebody relevant. And then, do I want the Vindicare to get the kill or do I want the Purifier? I actually want the Vindicare to get the kill, because it's easier to get kills on the Purifier at this point, to be honest. In which case, the Purifier needs to run as far this way as possible. Onward, brothers. And then you can delete that. Not you. You. So, might miss out on the seeds here. 25% chance to get them. It's not the end of the world, I'll be honest. Uh, he is nearly getting that back, so I'm actually going to drop this on it. Doubles the chance, so it's now 50-50. But it may end up doing nothing. It may end up doing something. I, I don't know. In my sights. That was a crit. I didn't see whether we got the seeds, though, or not. Which should have happened, because of the same rules as with the uh, melee crits. But I don't know if that applies automatically on the ranged crits. It's not one of those things I've tested before. So, Dominus, go clear, clear that one, and then the rest of the squad can come. And I might just try and blow these boxes out the way. To try and get the Dominus over there this turn. Like, it's, it's technically a closer distance, I think, to go from here to here. But there's a the stairs in the way, and there isn't a pack we know of. Whereas this, if I can clear at least some of this to get people across, that'll go relatively smoothly. So, I think the pack was round the corner, so I should be able to move for max distance. Chaos stirs within yeah. the shadows. And if I really want to, I can probably own the chapter or Quicksilver just to get it done. So let's move you two. I might throw in on the chapter in here. Uh, you go max. Yeah, so that's not cleared the way... That's not made us be able to see it. So... On the chapter... You... Max... On the chapter. Just to make sure he's got the range. It will reset when we get around the corner, but... Basically allows him to run as far as he can to get close. We strive! Okay, this is a lot of a little pack. This is better for our grenades. Which we still have plenty of, ironically. Despite using nothing but grenades. Purge the beasts! Okay, what do grenades hit at the moment? Those three? I think those are the highest priority three. So... We'll start with the people who have the least grenade angles. Which is that grenade... Actually, do I want to throw a frag over there? That is a good question. Because blowing up all of this will help out with the Dominus trying to run through. Because we need to get rid of that guy. So, let's have you grenade all this cover here. But I just... I, I'm tempted just to do double this and then get a bunch of executes off going off. Yeah, let's do that first, actually. No point trying to be clever. So do that. Get these two executed. So 
to the unworthy. Do you have a resurrection thing to deal with? It won't really matter. Okay, now you don't have anything. You're out of grenades, aren't you? Okay, that's fine. And then you have one. Which I think still works, but we might need to use Quicksilver if we're going to get all the stuff out of it. So you I run out one. You. Use your stun grenade on these two. Weak. Then get a frag there. Just make sure our guys are out of everything. I think they're out of everything. It's difficult to tell sometimes because it flies. This might hit the purifier if it over explodes. Barely, but the purifier is Bone fine. Wounded. Uh, purifier, get rid of this guy. Gonna have to skip the uh, seat again, but that's all the names of, as you can see. Chuck this to get the stuns here. He's level 8 now. Taste my fury. Use Quicksilver on him to get him the ability to get forward and grab both these executes. That funnels the XP as best we can anyway. So to the unworthy. Again, I'm gonna have to skip the seeds, but it's not the end of the world. For the golden throne! And then you can come back. Could get him to try help out over there. I'd, I'd need this gone first. Aye, sir. There's no issues whatsoever now. Dominus can only reach there this turn, so that's as far as she's going to get. Mr. Eight Action Points can run as far as he can and then try get rid of this guy. And then I think, because combat will end, Dominus will be able to cover this distance in one turn. But if I can get this kill either onto the Vindicare or the Purifier, I'll be much happier. I also need this guy to get out of the way afterwards, so... You know, it kind of has to happen in the next two swings. Good enough, that actually means anyone can pick up the kill, which I think I will give to the Vindicare. Assuming I can get him over here, which I should be able to. Yeah, you can get it from there. And then just take him out. Standing by for more times. So you get out of the way. And then the Dominus should be able to cover this distance, and that should be the end of the map. The optimal path. That is the optimal path. Straight line. Excellent work, Dominus. Your skills in combat were formidable. Perhaps you could spar with our initiates in the future? She didn't attack a single person. Her skill in combat was running from one place to another. I mean, admittedly, that was probably the most useful person on the team, arguably, because it's the mission objective, but she didn't actually attack anyone. <laughs> like, she didn't even use the support ability. She literally just ran. But whatever. That's kind of the point. It's kind of the odd thing where it's like, aha, you've got all these combat abilities in the Dominus. What's the most optimal thing to do? Move. Good job. Good job. <laughs> but anyway, easy mission. Did get some experience on the Vindicare. Would like to get more. Because once we've done with him, we can arguably start. <sighs> Depending on what the rewards are, I might hire the Eversaw now because we've got a good enough back team that he could run around if we like literally swap the Vindicare for the Eversaw there, just getting all the executes the same way the Purifier is, and that, that you're done. Like that, that's how you level up Assassin really, really quickly. Uh, okay, so we didn't get that many seeds. A little annoying because we have to skip so many. Don't get a choice on this. A little annoying, but it is a bonus mission. Let's be honest. So he leveled. We know. We've got decent experience. He's a mile off, so we're going to have to work on that. So, got all this. I think... Like, you can get this, but he's not really using melee like weapons that much. He's, he's going to switch over to an incinerator. So, I think... 
all of this tree becomes pointless. Incinerator doesn't work with this, although the auto reload is a thing. We get four more points. Let's have a think about this. Flame Affliction's not going to be particularly relevant. That's not going to be particularly relevant. That's not going to be particularly relevant. Like, it, you could arguably say that picking up these two is the best option. After picking up these two. Like, you're not going to get precision targeting, but the auto reload is the reason to go up there. So I think we go for this now. And we'll pick up that in a minute. Well, when I say a minute, but whenever he next levels, that could be a while, let's be honest. Okay, so that's done. Uh, still haven't had the next bloom wave, but we'll wait for it. We'll probably next episode head this way, uh, hang out, maybe deal with this ship, and then aim for the next bloom wave to sweep over here and do one of these missions after that. But I'll leave it here for now, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>